Hello and welcome. Today is Friday. It is day number three in February 2017 and welcome to the Silver Charts channel on YouTube and the Money Charts channel on BitChute. Let's take a look at the daily silver chart. But before I do that, I want to go over a very old screenshot that I have within the national debt, which is under 30 billion away from the the timeline number of just 20 trillion, just as if it's a small number. This screenshot is from the summer of 2012, but the numbers that I want to go over, I'll just quickly state that the US GDP has went up from 15 to close to 19. The debt has went from 104 and a third to 105 and two thirds. The debt per citizen, which uh, was 181, that is up to 206, but debt per family is 808. So to go up, what I can see is 124 in less than five years, that's like 20%. That's way too high. That's way, way too high. Savings per family has actually went up from this point. It's at 10K, but it's spent many times before at around 6 and 7K historically. But the very concerning one, student loan debt was 872 in the billions. Today, it has risen to almost one and a half trillion. An increase of almost 600 billion in four and a half years time. We're, we're talking 70% increase levels in just that time. Notwithstanding the credit card debt, which is a little over 1.1 trillion now. Thus an increase of over 200 to 16 that's not sustainable either however we are in a monetary model that thrives this debt-based system so it does say that's working personal debt per citizen was 50,000 an increase to 56,000 that's about 11 or 12 percent again the fiat economic monetary model for every country is designed for debts to do such and there's been a lot of talk and i don't focus much on this that prices for tuition are overinflated because of political measures that's where i'm going to go on that i remember paying for tuition 23 years ago costing me around one thousand Canadian dollars for the year. One thousand at a normal college. I know those levels are much higher and we were complaining then about books for a semester costing between three to four hundred if you buy them new. That was back then. So the inflationary measures for the student going to college university is looking to me as if a near bubble has got to be coming into play. But I've been saying that for a long time as well. And I'm not surprised that the debt levels have risen as much as they have onto these charts because this is a situation short term where it's broken out over this resistance area field, hitting resistance in at Fibonacci retracement. And the movements have had a small price correction down to previous resistance. Today, it has moved a little bit higher. How did it do such today? Well, this is how it did such. All morning long, or U.S. midnight time, when I did my last video, to 8.30 in the morning, it was just doing a whole bunch of sideways movement within the bottom end of today's range. But at 8.30 in the morning, very quickly it went down. 
about five basis pennies on the daily low. But about five seconds later, it got it all back. And then five, ten seconds after that, it was now exploring highs not seen over the last several hours. And then a couple seconds later than that, it was at highs for the day. Or, yes, it was at highs for the day at that time. And I refer to this for a couple reasons. One, at around 8.32, 8.33, you could have seen that the first move was lower, that you could tell that your bias for the day should be bullish. Furthermore, I've talked before very little about the Deutsche Bank uh, price manipulation and uh, chats that were being sent, WikiLeaks format. And... They talked about how they work together to make it work well. Even though this is on very low volatility, this is what I was thinking this morning when it was happening, that did they come together with their one team, one dream? This is what they're going to do. They're going to bring it up a percent or two and then do this and that. That's what I think. I really, really do. And I seen it happen at the bottom of the hour. So yeah, uh, at the bottom of the hour, one hour before the U.S. market opens, we're going to be doing this. That's what I suppose is uh, taking place. This is my personal opinion that it's something within that level. It's definitely not anywhere close to even paper digital free market, let alone how it should be traded, which is when you're on their buying or selling digitally, that means you are physically having silver available to you or losing out of your account that you could have anytime you want. Meaning, if I go on the market and buy silver, I buy 100 ounces, that means my account would have 100 ounces of silver after I go long. And if I want to withdraw a silver at any time, then so be it because you just physically bought it. It's We're holding it for you until you ask for possession. But of course, that's not the way the measures work within the silver trading on the internet. Take care and have yourself a great day.